it's Jenny Bunny, and if you're like me, you're probably part of the Itty Bitty Titty Committee, um, and you're Googling this video so you can learn how to make your boobs look bigger. I, for one, can follow these certain tricks. You can use them for when you go out clubbing, you can use them for if you have a photo shoot, or, you know, just if you want to make your boobs look bigger. Uh, but, you know, it's really simple, easy steps that you can use to kind of make it seem like you have double D's when really you're like a B cup. So, but they're really simple. So we're going to do it from like grade level. So if you just want a little boom to if you want to look like you have hooker boobs. So, so the first things that you're going to use are a paper clip. And if you want to up the stage from there, you're going to double bra it. So basically when you double bra, you're going to put the most padded one that's closest to your size on first. This one is from Victoria's Secret. I mean, super nice. Uh, also has like a shit ton of padding in there. I think this one was like the Va Va Voom or something. I don't know. I think it like adds two cup sizes. So clearly they know what they're doing. Second, you're gonna get like a larger bra that doesn't have as much padding. This one is also from Victoria's Secret. It's t-shirt bra. It's pretty close to my size. Uh, it's just a little bit bigger. I got it as a gift. I guess someone thought my tits were bigger than what they were. Um, but yeah, it's really comfy. And what you're going to do with these ones is you're going to place it over. So it's going to kind of give that look. And then another thing you're going to want to do is you're going to use makeup. And that, I'll show you how to do that because you're going to want to make like different sort of lines through there. That's going to give it like a shadowing effect. And if you really want to do like the all out stuffing instead of using tissue paper or toilet paper, which I think I saw once like 10 years ago in a girl's bathroom, um, socks. These ones you're going to kind of fold up real nice and just kind of stuff them in on the sides. But I'll show you all how to do that. So I started out by just adding the one uh, super push up bra. And so I put that on, you know, you kind of got to do that scoop and lift because the scoop and lift is going to make them look perkier. You're also going to want to take your shirt and if you can pull it down further, the better because it's going to make it more of a line. So the second step that we're going to do, and I'm going to move my hair aside for this, is the safety pin. And hopefully I don't stab myself while doing this, but basically what you're going to do is you're going to take your straps and you're going to safety pin them together to create more of a razor back look and that's going to pull them up like this I know my straps are a little clean but I mean you can take more time with this so that's going to create that look now we're going to add another bra on so once you add the second bra on you're going to want to safety pin them again and that's going to give you this more well-defined look and honestly I can pretty much bounce around and they're not going to go anywhere. They feel, it feels really tight because I have them on the last straps for each one. That's what you want to do because you want it to have that sort of, what, what is going on here? I don't even know what's going on here, but it's so weird. Okay, so we sort of fixed that. It's still kind of leaning to one side, but as I was saying, it's really tight and that's what you're going for because you don't want one bra too loose or else it's not going to give that push up feeling. So the third step that you're going to do is you're going to add your socks in. And what you're going to do is there's actually two socks in here, but you're going to do it to both sides too. So you're going to take your socks and you're going to kind of fold it. You can either fold it once over. These ones are like, I don't know, like tube socks or whatever. I have no idea. But, um, you're going to fold it like this. You can fold it another time if you want. I'm just going to fold it twice because I already have two bras on. And you're going to put it in along the side. And as you can tell, like when you press up against it, it gives it that lift. Okay, now that I have my socks in, you can see it's really defined now. And also, it's so padded that while putting it in, it feels like nothing. Like I can't really feel this that much. So if somebody's poking your boobs, you're probably not going to know. And also, they're going to know it's fake as fuck. Uh, but yeah, you got that, you know, lift that you wanted. 
and so pretty much we're on to our final step, which is going to be makeup. So I'm using just a cheap eyeshadow palette from the drugstore. I think it was like one dollar or so, because I don't really use it that much in my skin. Um, anyways, you're going to want to choose something that's darker and more well-defined. I'm going to probably use either this one or this one. So you still want it somewhat close to your skin tone or else it's literally just going to look like lines. But you're going to do, what you're going to do is you're essentially making lines but you're going to blend it in later. So you're going to want to kind of go up. And it's okay if you start out and it's too light because you can always go darker. But you see, it? I'm going to make that V. And you're going to kind of make sure you go into that crack. I'm actually using a mirror over here. And I suggest that when you put makeup on, maybe don't use a camera, a video camera. As you can see, I'm making now more of a circular pattern. And I mean, right now, it just kind of looks like I drew wings on <laughs> my boobs, like the little birds that you paint in pictures. To me, that's kind of what it looks like. But we're going to blend this in, so don't worry if it looks really weird right now because it it's going to. <laughs> okay. And you're also going to do it along, you don't have to do this part, but, um, you know, if you have more, if your collarbones look more outward, protruding sort of thing, I can't speak today apparently, then that's going to help enhance your look. And I'm putting makeup on my hair, so we're going to kind of bring that back. And I'm also no makeup expert, so... I'm doing it as best and as, as fast as I can, but I mean, I can't even do my eyebrows, so. Alrighty, so now we have that sort of circular look. What we're going to do now is blend it. So after you grab your blender, because I forgot it, so I had to pause the video, uh, you're just going to kind of go over, you know, I'm using more of the spiral type, and you're just going to blend that, you can blend your collarbones as well, and even though once you blend it, it's going to start looking like super light, that's okay, because you can always apply more on, but, okay, so now that we have that done, we're going to put on the bronzing powder. This one's from Ulta. I think I got it as a freebie set. It's kind of old, but it's going on my chest, not my face, so it's not too big of an issue. And you're going to kind of brush it up. And, of course, all bronzer is sparkly because, you know, when you're just naturally tan, you're sparkly, right? So you're just going to kind of go over all of this area. Cause... But I'm going to keep with that V shape as well along here. So I'm going to cover it all just a little bit, but you're really going to define your V-shape as well as your collarbones. Okay, and then we're going to go back over with the eyeshadow again. Okay. And if you feel like the eyeshadow is too dark, you can also use eyeliner. Or a bronzing cream. Bronzing cream is probably going to be the best one. I'm just doing this as cheaply as possible because I'm really not going to focus too much on my chest makeup. I already have to spend enough on my face, so. Okay, and you're going to do the same thing and just kind of blend it out. So, but yeah, there you go. Now you have your double D tits.
and they're going to be like super perky. So literally if someone punches you here, like I can pretty much be like Tarzan and just kind of go like this. You don't feel anything. Uh, but you know, from the sides, it's going to look like this. Uh, it's going to look like you had plastic surgery. But if you want to go out to the clubs and just kind of look really cute and look like you have tits, this is the easiest way to go. And you really don't have to spend that much money on it. I mean, all you need is a safety pin, two bras, uh, and makeup, and like a pair of socks. So, and that's going to give you this full on look, which is a lot cheaper and probably safer than plastic surgery. So, overall, I think it's great. And my ears are definitely falling off right now. So, we're going to sign off for now. So, I'll see y'all next time.